In Photopea, the first thing you're going to do is start a new document. So we're going to come over here to File, and we're going to say New. And we've got a lot of options. Our, our name is going to be Test Text Practice. And then when you do your second one, you'll give it a different name. And we're going to come down here to Instagram. We're going to do this size. It'll just be a good size. It's workable. You're going to click on Instagram size and then create. This is our canvas and for our doing our image in a text. The first thing we need to do then, now that we have our, our canvas, is to get an image. So I'm going to go to a Google search. And when I do a Google search, at the top here, I click on images. And so it, I can focus on just finding images and not um, a lot of other websites. And I did a search for forest landscape. This is one I like. I have it showing here in the screen over here. I'm going to do a right mouse click and do a copy image. And I can come back over here to photo P and I'm going to do a paste. So I can either go to edit paste or do a control V. You know how to do a lot of different pastes. And my image should come up. Now, if this image is really big or really small, you can resize it. This image is really big. I'm going to come here to edit and then come here to transform and say scale. This is going to give me some handles. You can see a lot of handles. I'm going to hold down the shift key and then just start resizing. And it might take me a little bit depending on how big this image is, but I'm going to scale down the image and to, you know, about the size I think my text might be. I can click back here on the arrow in the upper left hand corner and that's going to stop me from working on that particular layer. Over here on the right hand side you see layers and my background is here and you might notice that your background is locked. So I'm going to click on the lock to unlock it. Then I can move it around if I need to. My next layer is going to be the text. Over here on the toolbar on the left hand side I see T for text and you're going to use the type tool. I come up here to where your picture is and you can click and you're going to start typing. And you can use capital letters or lowercase letters. It's going to be up to you, but you're going to want it to be big. Now it's going to start off probably being kind of small, like 24. You can double click on it to highlight all of the text. And then your size is up here. So right now my size is 200. So it's filling up pretty good. Depending on how long your name is, you can make it bigger or smaller. You also want to change the font and you want something kind of a thick, big font so that the image can really show through. If you have a thin font, you're not going to see very much. So I use this one called Chunk 5. It's pretty thick. This clutchy is really thick too. Maybe I'm going to try it, but pick a font that's really thick and a size that's going to fill um, most of the image. And it doesn't matter what color the text is because it's going to be the image anyway. You can kind of put the text covering the part of the image that you want to show through. Now over here on my layers panel, I'm going to just switch the two layers. So I have my text layer and my, my image layer. I'm going to just switch the two. And then on my layer, that is my image, I'm going to do a right mouse click. And this pop-up menu will come and I'm going to select the clipping mask. And then, voila, the image is in the text. Now right now, I can move my text. I'm going to click on that particular layer and I can move my text to whatever part of the picture I might want. And if I move it off the text, that'll happen as well. So you can still have some options. And you don't have to make your final decision just yet. I like that part. It kind of shows a lot of good tree. Once I've decided, now I want to merge those two together. So if I move my text, the picture will move with me. So I already have my image selected, my, this layer. I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on the layer as well. So now both are selected. Do a right mouse click again and go to merge layers. Now, I can move the entire thing and it stays put. There's some other things you can do. I can resize it. If I come back here to edit and go to transform, I can scale it. I can rotate it, distort it. So I can try some of these things if I'd like. 
I can also maybe try some of the other tools over here. If you want to draw, if I want to add um, a color box or, or anything. So um, you can always add to this. You can also maybe look at the filters. So there's some pretty fun things to do here um, with some of the filters. Maybe I want to emboss it, oil paint it, so change it into an oil painting. Okay. So there's a lot of things you can try out in PhotoP uh, once you have your final assignment. So your final assignment is going to uh, be to create a page like this. So I'm going to come here to File and do a new. I'm still going to keep it Instagram and create. I'm going to give it this will be my final. And you can pick a topic that you would like to create several images with, in text for. Like, the example I'm going to show you is with countries, and I have the name of the country showing. You could do flowers, you could do food, you could do your family. Pick a theme, and that's what you're going to create around. So I'm going to call mine um, countries, then click create. So I'm going to have a new image here, a new canvas for me to put images on. And then your final might look something like this. So here you can see I picked several different countries and for each country I picked some kind of a landscape picture and I did the name. Each one is in a different font and a different size. I merged all the layers over here. So if I were to move any of the um, text, the, the, la the layer behind it, that's the image will move with it. And this is gonna be your final product. And you can, of course, as I mentioned before, add more to it, you can have you need to have a minimum of six words. You can see I have like seven. Um, and you can add more things to it as well. You can do filters. You can add drawing to it, shapes. Uh, you can make it um, as creative as you would like. In the end, you'll do a screenshot of this and paste it on your assignment document.